What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video and guys today we're going to be going over the auction house glitch. Before we get into it make sure to smash that like button, drop the sub and all that good stuff. Make sure to also follow the Twitter. We are buying and selling MT on there so yeah make sure to go do that. Um, Today guys we are going to be going over the auction house glitch and as you guys know it's crazy crazy crazy. You guys lost so much MT. I feel bad for all you guys that lost MT. Literally, prayers up to you because it's so toxic. And I just want to talk about one thing. I've been putting it together. I've been posting my team content for a while. The sub would be greatly appreciated. The Twitter would be greatly appreciated, man. Because, bro, we got MT giveaways coming soon. We're almost hitting at 10K. So make sure to smash that sub button. We're going to go over the auction house glitch. This glitch is so toxic. And I'm going to go over everything right here in this video. So if you guys do not know what the glitch is, pretty much what happens is, let's say I have a card for um four hours left right for some reason i don't know why for some reason the 2k auction house triggers a weird ass thing and every card from two hours or something and under go poof literally poof and nobody in the whole entire world can bid on those cards now how are you going to make mt off this so we're going to go over that and we're going to go over what the hell is going on so first off you guys do know a ton of new players came to 2k before even a sale drop their servers have been absolute doo-doo and this pretty much what's going on is um people are, i guess are just posting since there's so many cars in the auction there's mt website sniping there's bot sniping there's this there's this going on a bunch of nonsense put onto an auction and what creates since their auction sucks and since their servers suck Compare those together and it creates a market glitch. I don't know why, but it happens between 5 and 7 p.m. almost every day. And it's been happening like this for almost a week. And I know a lot of my subs, some of my subs got lost a Ben Simmons for 100k. Some of my subs lost 300k Shaq. Some of my people lost KD for 100k. Some of my people lost Melo for 100k. And it's ridiculous. Now, do you hit up support? Are they going to help you? They're not going to help you. So I'm going to help you because support is not, they don't help anybody. I was one time 8 and 0. No, I was one time 10 and 0. And I literally got an error code while up 10 in the fourth quarter with a minute left. I hit up support. They didn't get back to me. They don't help. Don't hit up support for anything. Hit up a YouTuber. YouTubers have more pride, more, they want to get the community to help more than support does. Support doesn't care. They want your money. That's how I see it. But yo, so this, this glitch is so toxic and i'm just gonna say this do not sell cards five to seven if you sell your cards five to seven p.m eastern five seven p.m eastern time western time what is it five it's um two o'clock to five western time so if you're watching this video do never sell cards as you know if you have an opal you're putting them up for four hours let's say it's two o'clock and you should be safe if it's three o'clock you might get screwed i would not put it up at two o'clock I would say one o'clock down. Usually I sell your cards, say sell your cards Saturday. That's always a good idea. So all you know is glitch. This really does only affect people selling opals. So if you have a pink diamond and you're throwing them for a buy now, that's fine. This is literally just about opals. Now, as you guys do know, opals have the most value in this game as of right now. So if myself, if I were to throw up, thank God I haven't got screwed by this. I actually dubbed out on this. So now this is the one thing. You can make a lot of MT off this. I'm going to go over it right now. If you play around 5 to 7 Eastern, I would literally start bidding on every single card at around the 2 hour mark, an hour mark, whatever. Like for instance, I'm going to go over a lot of things because I'm actually going to try this out and see if it does work out. I'm going to sit on the auction tomorrow 5 to 7 Eastern. Hopefully it crashes. Now, this is what you want to do. Um, like perfect example, this shack right here, 240k. Let's say I bid it on that. Yeah, I have no MT. You'll see where my MT went. I'll have a mill soon. But yo, if I let's say, all right, there's a minute 54 left. It's around 459. Let's say I bid on it for 242. I probably won't get outbidded for a couple 10 minutes, five minutes. 
All you have to do is pretty much pray to the lords that this auction block crashes like it has been. Now, what happens is literally the car goes poof for, I would say, about an hour to two hours. Hopefully, you could get off the, the, the bid. Now, if you guys are still putting up cards during that time, when I make this video, good luck. Because the auction could crash. If it doesn't crash, it's all up to you. But all I'm saying is, if you have enough MT to literally, like around the two hour mark, to literally just sit on Opals, like, I don't know, dude. Let's just say there's a Lonzo going for this, there's this going for that, a LeBron going for this, like straight up, if you want to get LeBron for cheap, around five to seven Eastern, bro, get over here to the, what, two hour mark. Let's just say, all right, try it with the, he's a mil. That's not a good example. But you know what I'm saying, bro? around the same exact time two hours and under if you could get a bid on like i would say an hour under jordan carter you could possibly land these bids for super cheap and if you guys have been noticing when the market does go poof and it goes whack at around two hours you only can see cars from two hours and up around two hours everybody's bidding like crazy on those cards so what you want to do is pretty much don't bid on those cards because they're so overpriced and kids get screwed up on those prices now another thing is I'm trying to think. Um, another thing is, when the auction is back to normal, cards are so expensive. So right when you see, like, let's say it says seven minutes, like every, you go to Opal and you don't see seconds, you just see seven minutes and up. Seven minutes is up. I would literally put up your cards. That's what I did with Giannis. My pink diamond Giannis sold for six hundred eighty thousand. If you don't believe me, you could literally go check my Twitter. My Blake sold for three eighty. Now that those prices are crazy i've made a 200,000 about 150 160,000 clean off my Giannis by taking advantage of that glitch wow he actually dropped a lot because of lebron but yo that glitch has went like berserk and it honestly has screwed up the market in so many ways kids are starting to adapt but kids are still losing hundreds of thousands of mt per day because 2k is getting screwed up now my recommendations clearly it's simple man I honestly sold most of my Opals and I'm honestly running with a budget squad. Yes, I have literally millions and millions of investments, but I literally been rocking with the budget squad that probably cost, I would say around what, 300K, 200K? That's pretty budget. If you've been playing since day one, that's literally less than 1K per day on average. So in my opinion, 300K is a complete budget squad. Most of these guys are token market cards. I'm saving up my tokens, saving up my MT, got investments going. And right now, what you should be doing to avoid the glitch, don't sell any cards between 12 and eight, uh, 12 and 7. Whenever you see the market glitch, throw up your cards because you might get a lot of MT for them. That's another example. But also, like I said, to make a lot of MT, if you're on the auction 5 to 7, you're sniping, all doing all this stuff, something you really want to look forward to is simply the auction. Like, it's just, it's so hard to explain because it makes no sense. But literally, just pay attention to this video. You will see the market go, like, literally probably tomorrow around 5 to 7. It happens every day. I've been on Twitter every day. It happens around PS4, on Xbox, whatever. Literally, 5 to 7 p.m., you will see the market go poof. Hour down, uh, Two hours and down, they're all gone. The cards are gone. No one can bid on them unless somehow these bots, somehow there's a way to bid on them that I don't know. If someone knows a way to bid on these, let me know because you can make millions of MT with 100K. Like, you could literally get a Ben Simmons for 100k and just be like, yo, I got Ben Simmons for 100k. What the hell is going on? I got Shaq for 100k. What is going on? No one else could see those cards. If you could see those cards, literally, let me know down below. So pretty much overall, no cards posted between 2 and 7 Eastern until the market is stable with like at least 20 minutes left. You will see. If you know what this glitch is, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you will see it as long as you're on the auction between 5 to 7 but yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Second video done for the day. Honestly, hope you guys enjoyed the content. We're on the road to 10K. Make sure to drop the sub. Make sure to do all that good stuff. And yeah, man, keep investing. Keep doing your thing. Keep playing TTO because these packs over here are super juice, bro. Look at these D-Rose packs. Ben Simmons packs on boards. Durant's on boards. All that stuff's on board. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.